Oh my god. Oh my god, I cannot believe. I, I can't- I can't- I can't believe it's real. I spent a ton of time screaming about Splatoon 3 last night on my stream, but I just want to go through the trailer one more time and just talk about the things that I see. Oh, here it is. Here it is. We're going through this again. We're going through this again. We're going through this again. Like, the first thing, I saw I saw a tweet about this, and I totally agree, is if we were paying attention, we could have told by the caution tape. It was right there. It was right, it was, it was right there, whole time. We're, we're all, we're all fools. Oh my god, we're all fools. <laughs> and then, okay, this is how long it took for me to realize it was Splatoon. It wasn't here. It wasn't when she pulled down the hair. It was when the hood came off all about to hear, and then this popped up, and I was like, I'm sitting in my car, I'm having a good time, you know, and, and, and just sitting in the parking lot, and I noticed, stop, oh, you know, like, I don't think that's, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty Splatoony, that's pretty Splatoony, I didn't even notice the little salmon in the corner, he didn't even come into my brain, my brain was just too focused on the inkling that was in front of me, to realize that we had actually obtained Splatoon 3, that it was actually happening. It, it's still hard to believe. It's been almost 24 hours since the trailer came out, and I- uh, oh, oh my god! Improved skin tones is also a W. This is insane. I will- I will continue to stick with having my eyes being pink, but for people that like, want like something- like a mix? Like a, like a cool mix. Like, look at all this we got going on. Look at, look at, look at all the different eyes. Look at how this one, this is the one they ended up going with in, like, the trailer. It has, like, this slightly, like, red tinge to it here. It kind of gives you that almost, it almost gives you, like, a little bit of a salmon look, which I think is super sick. It also is, like, it, it's a three-colored eye. Because it's, you know, Splatoon 3. <laughs> What would you even call this? Like, it looks like you're gonna go out to, like, the like the, the ice cream parlor or something and be like, yeah, can I get a little bit of, like, cherry, watermelon, apple, uh, blitz or something? Oh my god. Like, if this is the color of the iris, right? And then the black is the color of the pupil. Does that mean this one? You'll have, like, a red pupil? Hello? And the hair. Oh my god, the hair. So, these are the four hairstyles that it looks like we're getting, like, right off the bat, at least for the inklings. The, the normal hair is over here. And they're gonna, like, scroll over to it. And you can see that then they have the regular boy hairstyle, the, uh, the regular old girl in inkling hairstyle over here. And, and probably, like, the rest are probably, like, beyond it. But, ah! Uh, they don't... They, these are, these are the female, like, eyebrows, right? So to speak. But they're just letting any hair go on top of it. It's so good! It's so good, I like, dude, it's a non-binary W. Like, if I ever wanted to change my Inkling's hair, it would it would definitely be this one. It would definitely be this one, because not only do you keep the long tentacle, but you just get like this this cool little braid. How does, how does it work? How does it work? I don't know, I, I look at that, I, I just don't get it. And then we're not even talking about the pants. Look at, look at the, look at the poofy pants. Look at the poofy pants. I don't think we really got like too much in the name of new pants, right? This was here, this was here. Uh, these ones were all here. This is the, uh, this is the pants that I like. And these are the pants that I'll probably keep using in the new game. But, oh! And her shirt! Her shirt's all, like, ripped up and sad. I wanna, like, I hope in the story mode for this game that we end up seeing why these two are friends. Like, is this the only salmon that is friends with us? Can we get more hairstyles for him down the line? I love how much effort they put into, like, making him look good, too. And, like, like just just look at the way the shaders look on the Sam and it's like, head. Like, I, I know this is, like, the opening screen, so it's meant to look, like, maybe nicer than the rest of the game. But, like, you can you can see, like, the fine hairs on the head of the Sam and it. What do they do? Like, they're obviously using something different for this game. They, they pulled in the models from the old game, but something is different. It's good. I, I, I like it. I like I, I want I want more of him. Oh, I love him so much. And that's not even talking about the uh, the obvious like upside down Eiffel Tower looking in the background over here. Like where do we even start with that? I've seen people online talk about how like Callie and Marie went to Paris, but that tweet's from 2016. The, like unless this was planned that far back, your Grizz have any involvement in this? I know this is meant to be like, you know, all the graffiti and everything. And that this, I, I don't think this is sea cucumber. 
but it just it just looks like it wants to be sea cucumber but it's like hidden by these flames and it makes me feel a certain way if maybe all the characters in the deep sea metro might come back in this it doesn't make sense for them to be here because like it's a dried out environment that's nothing to do with like the original game but Ooh, I just love that we're in a brand new place. There's like so much to do. I I just want to absorb everything from like from like the graffiti to the little tiny squid that's down here on these steps. Like, look at him. That's that this little guy down here. This is us after this like trailer was over and we all just stormed to Twitter and screamed. See, like it wants to be the hat. They want you to take in what you're seeing. They're like, hey, is this Splatoon 3 or is it DLC? And watching this, I thought it was gonna be DLC because Octo Expansion, we're on the train. This game, Splatoon 3, oh my god, it's so weird to say, we're on the train. We have like one of these fishy guys in the background. How is how is he doing well here? And then we have of course our precious jelly boys. I want them to have some more time in Octo in uh in Splatoon 3. Like just pausing here for a moment, I know that everybody's first thought is, oh, what could the DLC be in Splatoon 3? It's probably going to be like a salmonid inkling hybrid like we had in Splatoon 2 for Octolings. And I feel like as much as I want that, as, as much as I want that, the way that this has been put together, do you think it's too obvious now? I, I feel like they've made it too obvious by making us friends with the salmonids. I feel like Grizz is gonna be the main issue of the story mode in this game. And then they might like completely like 180 on us and say like, hey, jellyfish. What if we have a jellyfish thing? I feel like that's the sleeper. I feel like that's a sleeper. The jellyfish just chilling here, still being around. They have to have purpose eventually. They've been around for like three games and they haven't done anything. I, I refuse to believe that they're gonna go nowhere. So, so then, then we white out and your heart starts to race. And then, and then it, it comes back in, and the most important thing of all, you already know, you already know you're getting the long play, properly scripted out video for this right here. The, the apartments, oh my god, they're right there, they're right there, the apartments, I was losing it, I, oh my god, like, come on, look at all, look, they got clothes hanging out the windows, you got all the air conditioning units. Everybody's squished tightly together in this like little nightmare town. It's oh, it's uh, so good. I just, I want to go there. I want to go there. I know we gotta wait until 2020 too. <laughs> Not 2020, oh God, let's say in 2021. <laughs> but like, oh, before we know it, we'll be able to go there. Please just, can we, can we hang out with our friends in our apartments? Oh, come on. We, you could like slide across the, like these, these cute little, the cute little hang lines here to go hang out with your friends on the other side or something. It could be so sick. Just let me spend my money on furniture. But I'm, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get into too much on that. I'm not going to talk too much about apartments. You hear in the background that, and you realize, oh my God, they're making a Splatoon 1 homage. They're talking about Splatoon 1. You got this poor inkling shirt. You can see just how like ripped to shreds it is. It's curious because it doesn't look like other inkling gear is as ripped apart like this is a this is like a fish fry visor over here seems fine there's like a uh, this is like a sunny d a sunny d t <laughs> a sunny day t hanging out over here they got like a cute little muffler on look at the look at like, the design of the areas over here i just want to explore stuff for a moment because i haven't really looked at this very much we got a bike shop dude can we ride a bike can we, can we have an open world element where we ride on a bike? This whole thing over here, you know this is a store. You know this has to be a store. And this is like, I'm pretty sure like a new graffiti over here. I feel like it either has to be for a brand, or it could be again like the wild nature of all these characters because we are in the city of chaos. Imagine like how rough and tumble these Inklings and Octolings have gotten over just like the course of like a year and a half since the Chaos vs. Order Splatfest happened. That's what makes it so exciting, is that Splatoon 2, we felt like we could predict stuff to an, like, to an extent, because there was only two years in development. Well, let's talk about this. This, this could be food. Dude, could, I remember, I mentioned this in my apartment video, that I would love to see, like, something new come in this game for Krusty Sean. What if we gave Krusty Sean his own restaurant? I want, I, I don't think this is his restaurant, it doesn't look like, like, the style of it, but it could be. And I'm, I'm holding out. This is this is one of my main guesses. That this might become a restaurant. I would love more shops. Like, cause in, in Splatoon 2, we have, like, you know, like, four or five, like, shops. Why not make more? Let me spend my money. We got, 
We have m local mysterious areas that might eventually become DLC. Like, wait for it. There, yeah, that. This is. Come on. Come on. Wacky little wacky little staircase over here i don't know if we're gonna be hopping on down onto these stairs or if we can take these stairs and like go up them but i, I want to know where this goes I, I feel like the first thing that people are gonna do when they get their hands on this is explore every single nook and cranny to see like what is like playable and what is like hmm this might make for good dlc later and they bap you with the, the, the whole plaza looking so nice this is our this is our new version of the Deca Tower, by the way. Again, more little like bikes and stuff over here. This bike is so well rendered, with this like cute little squid on it too. I I feel like we have to be able to get a bike. I want I want a bike. I want to bike. I want to bike in Splatoon 3 and drive up to my apartment. <laughs> ah! And they get you good. They get you good with. Wait for it. Yeah, that's what they do. And the most important thing to me, though, is you can see right underneath the S in Splatoon 3, our boy, our boy Sheldon Shop, still existing. Very important. Ammo Knights cannot go away, or my poor OC will be without a job. How, how will I make my ads without Sheldon? Am I going to take over the shop? I don't, I don't want to take over the shop. I don't feel ready to take over the shop. <laughs> oh, and then this is where things get wacky. Because uh, they, they hit you with the title screen. They give you a couple of seconds to relax. And then... Then they bring out the jams. And look at this. Look at the- why- why are we flying? I understand it gets rid of spawn camping, but look how- look how clean the animation is too! Like, they, they made the ink look so much better in this game! Like, I didn't think they could! I'm gonna rewind it again just so you guys can like, see it again. Oh my god, it just looks so nice. Like, not even paying attention to everything else that's going on in this trailer. Like, they're taking the time to show off a number of weapons that they've changed the designs of, it looks like. Like, you can see that- on, on this end, we have the new crossbow looking weapon, which is really a fishing rod, which is really sick. We have the upgraded dynamo roller, which looks really nice in its new form. We got this big boy blaster, which I'm gonna get back into because I have to yell about this at some point. Hi, not E-Leader, how, how you doing? How you doing there? Is that gonna be our E-Leader 5K? Maybe they'll go backwards and call it the E-Leader 2K, just to be funny. Maybe, I, I can't see them calling it just the E-Leader. So let's see where it goes. What do you think you're gonna name that? I'm so curious. I want to know, and I mentioned this yesterday, does every Inkling and Octoling have a special pose depending on what weapon they play? Like, do all snipers kind of like drop in, like holding on to the spawn point? Do all blasters like have like this stance? Does it change depending on like your your hair? Does it change depending on like your species? Is it is it based on like the weapon or the weapon type? There's just so much variety to go into this. Kind of like how you have on the winning and the losing screens for Splatoon 2, where you know they react differently depending on what weapon they're holding and what species they are. I, I just want to see how many different looks there are. Cause then you go over here. And you see all of them are standing on the platforms regularly, but the bucket user in particular has a very forward pose. It's also a sloshing machine, which is very important. And like, like look at the way, look at the way the Hydra is placed on here. The Hydra stance is completely different too. You see how they, they're, they're immediately like standing backwards, to like hold their gun in place. I feel like those are going to be the poses we see in game for these, like when the game starts up. Also, this is, this is great. This is great. Spawn camping? No more. Like, the movement tech? Ooh, I, I, I'm assuming that the movement tech isn't gonna, like, hurt anybody. I'm assuming it's just, like, for quick movement. Like, can you dodge a sniper shot easily with this? Could I maybe not be sniper bait? <laughs> we also have our little friend over here who is coming out of the ink. This is, this is definitely a nice little beta render right here. <laughs> oh, look at the... Look at the skeleton hanging out up here on the platform. It's all the way up there. All right, I get that. I get that. And here's here's the thing. We're gonna go. Burp. And this, I don't know if I. I let me let me let, let's, let's 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 play this one. Let's play this one a little slower for you, okay? We're gonna go. We're gonna slow this down. 
We're gonna go pew dee 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 pew pew pew. And the blaster shot cuts through the inkling and keeps going. It goes bop and then hits the floor behind them as they explode. Do you, do you realize? Do you realize that is a, a piercing blaster shot? I don't know if that's just because they're still working on making the game. But if the blaster is piercing through Inklings now, do you realize how much power that gives to the blaster? That pretty much makes it into like a deadly close range charger. I feel like a big part of this game, as a side note, is that we're probably not gonna be able to like paint things as well. There's that nodding Zuka going around. There's what looks to be either like a missiles or a stingray that kind of like cuts through here. Because one of the problems in Splatoon 2 is everyone's able to get their specials and spam them super fast because we can paint everything. If they take away a little bit of that paintability, it'll slow down the game a smidge and make special conservation so much more important. I don't know if I can really see them doing that though, and I think I might be, <laughs> I think I might be talking about a whole lot of hooey, but look at, look at, look at the blaster anyway, it's so good, it's so good. And we gotta, we gotta get to that machine, so I can yell about that, come on, show that machine. Oh, maybe they don't show it in this. And then there they are, there they are, there's the machine, there's the machine that we're looking for, I'm so so ready. I'm so glad that's in the game. If we can keep like normal sloshers too, which I can't see why we won't, I I'll be win. Do you think that we'll keep every single weapon that's currently in the game? Like, we have a lot of weapons in the game, but I can't see Nintendo like removing stuff. Splatoon 2 kind of increased the weapon pool without changing things too much, where Splatoon 3 seems to kind of want to push the envelope in making significant changes. It's kind of interesting. I'm really wondering where this would go. Also, the new splatter shot looks super nice. This little crab turret. I hope we can like, I hope we can like pick him up and like place him wherever we go. It's like auto bomb, but just is like a crab. I believe he's a special as well, so it's not the same as the uh, the auto bomb. And then of course we have the zuka to end it all off. I I can't believe that they're putting Inkzuka back in the game. But that's it. We're gonna go back. 2022, the the amount of opportunities that this opens up for like the entire community is insane. It's gonna be great for helping uh, any anybody to get into the scene because more people than ever are gonna want to play Splatoon 2 to be able to prepare themselves for Splatoon 3. People are gonna be looking for content from Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3. People can talk about their thoughts about Splatoon 3 till like the end of days. And believe me, you will have people that want to listen to you. I'm gonna have a lot of fun rambling about things. Not in like this format, but definitely in other formats, probably more scripted in the future. <laughs> God, I'm I'm so excited for Splatoon 3. So I think I want to know from you guys, what is the thing that you're the most excited about? I'm excited about the apartments, but I'm also excited about the idea of just having new loadouts for the weapons that we love. I, I love having Autobomb and Stingray on my sloshing machine, but I would love to see something new on it. I'm still sitting in the camp of hope that maybe we can just pick whatever we want, at least in PBs. But until we have that confirmed, I just want to see what the options are so I can sit around and imagine the perfect sub and special combination that I know the weapon won't get. <laughs> uh, dude, 2022 is going to be here before we know it. We're more than halfway through February already of this year. Ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait, and I want to hope that a couple of my little predictions might be right, too. Oh, thank you for listening. Splatoon 3 is going to be so nice. And I'll see y'all in Splatoon 2. <laughs>